Today I'm going to do a review of this J.K. Lee Blue Burst build that I just uh, completed last night. We'll go over the good and the bad. Um, I'm going to start off with what it is and how I acquired all the pieces and all that. This is a War Moth neck. I painted the headstock, did a uh, water slide decal, um, you know, War Moth neck, like I said. This is an IYV guitar body custom made from them and we'll talk about that and all the parts are this is an actual uh, Charvel brass bridge JB and two uh, SDS one uh, DiMarzio single coils five-way switch and uh, one volume and uh, I can go over specification of the neck tell you how this is similar to the actual USA Charvel and how it's different and uh, all the obstacles I had to overcome when building this. Alright, so let's talk about the neck and spe uh, specifications of that and uh, how this differs a little bit from the USA Jiggy Lee. Um, the USA has a flat 12 inch radius, just a straight radius. This has a compound 10 to 16 inch radius, which I prefer, so I went with that on this. Um, I went with the Irvana compensated nut for tuning stability and intonation. Um, then I went with staggered locking tuners. This has Godo locking tuners, and they're uh, staggered, so there's no need for string tree. Uh, I got the dark rosewood, and these has jumbo frets. Uh, standard cream dots, standard side dot, just white dots. And it's got the truss rod adjustment there at the heel, on the side of the heel here. Um, so it's a little bit different from the uh, standard Jake, but I think those appointments are all upgrades from his. Um, now let's go over the body. I'm pretty sure the body's made of mahogany. Um, when they sent it to me, it was just a body with just the pickup routes and the input jack route. That's it. I had to drill through the through the center of the in between the cavities here to feed the wiring through. I had to do that. I had to drill out the hole for the volume pot. I had to cut the switch the blade switch slit and the holes for that. I uh, put the strap buttons on. I had to paint the headstock by the way. I painted the headstock and added the water slide decal on there. Polished it up. Um, like I said it's got the it's got the actual you know set that he used JB and the, the DiMarzios. Um, had to do drill out the bridge completely. I had to drill these string through body holes had to do the ferrules, had to measure it out, do all that stuff. So it was actually quite involved from what I was kind of uh, hoping for. Um, some problems that arose. The cavity. Uh, the right size route, but it wasn't deep enough. So the body material for the controls here was too thick. It was about, it was probably half an inch thick and the volume pot wouldn't even go all the way through. It, was big. it wouldn't even, there was maybe a centimeter sticking out of the top. There wasn't even any thread showing to put the nut on there. And same with the blade switch. It was barely just sticking out of the slit, barely at all. So I had to go in with my routing tool, my, uh, right here, just my Dremel tool, and actually go in the back of the cavity and shave down about half the distance where the volume pot and the blade switch go and had to just route out that area of the guitar so that the controls would fit through and work properly. So that was a pain in, in, the, uh, in the rear there. Um, am I happy with the outcome? Yes, I'm very happy with it. It looks almost very, very close to the real deal here. 
It sounds really good, uh, plays great. So all that's great, but uh, like I said, if you watched my review of the body, it was only $70 plus shipping for the body, but there was a lot of uh, obstacles behind this body. And um, I'm pretty knowledgeable about guitars and, and, and uh, tinkering on them. And I don't know if somebody with a little bit less ability would have been able to pull this off. Um, so just a warning there, it was quite involved to get this thing going. Um, it's like every every turn there was a little a hiccup that I had to rectify. So I know this video is getting kind of, kind of lengthy, but I just figured I'd tell you the troubles I had with this. But uh, let's go over some sound clips of this. Do some clean and some lead and some rhythm on it. And uh, we'll see how this thing sounds. Okay, we're on the neck pickup. We'll go over some clean tones. Next position. It's kind of got a cocked wall sound. Then a bridge. Next, we'll go over some rhythm tones. Bridge. Next position. Canceling, so get that hum on the uh, single calls here. Back to the bridge, we're good. All right, next we'll go over lead. <laughs> Middle. <laughs> 
bridge. <laughs> All right, in closing, I think it was a successful build. Um, I was thinking about doing the purple burst, the Jakey Lee purple burst, but I'm a little bit apprehensive of it now just from how involved this one was. It might, might wait a couple years for that. Um, but I'm going to enjoy this. Let me know if you like it in the comments. And um, yeah, I think it turned out great. Um, like I said, the biggest obstacles were this body. Where it was cheap but you know overall they did a good job with the collar and and everything which is the main thing getting them routes right the routes are were perfect for the pickups but uh yeah getting that bridge just right drilling the holes for the string through you know the ferrules aren't exactly perfect you can see there they're i did the best i could without a drill press and uh you know but overall it turned out great uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos involving this guy right here.